Hey everybody, welcome back to World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King Classic and our Blood Elf Mage. Thank you all very much for joining me here today and for clicking on the video. I do appreciate it and I hope you are all doing well. We have a couple of quests to turn in and after that I think we're headed back out to the west. Let's check the rep vendor. It's possible that we have enough rep at this point to purchase some items. Not sure if they'll have anything we really need. What is it? Uh, they have boots. Yeah, we could definitely use the boots. And we could definitely use the belt. Absolutely. And then... What else do they have? A seven stamina cloak... Four intellect apothecary robes. Well, that'd be cool. So let's have a look. I think we might want to go into the Dead Scar a little bit. Uh, for down the Dead Scar, Risen Hungerers and Gangled Cannibals. We need 10 and 10. Ghost Call of Lynxes. Uh, we can find those back out to the east. Let's just try to tackle some objectives over here today. And eventually we'll find ourselves back on the eastern side of the zone to do the troll stuff. Uh, but also to do the cats, Ghost Claw Lynx. It looks like somebody beat us to it. Somebody is here fighting a bunch of these guys. Now the Risen Hungerers, they also have a chance to drop a Rotting Heart, and we need those for another quest.
Well, there is Luzron. I don't think we're ready to take him on yet. He's level 21. Like, we could probably solo him eventually. Once we have Blink, maybe even once we have Mana Shield for a little bit of extra protection. Then we can possibly solo him, but right now I think I have to avoid him. Yeah, we're not going to find any more of the gangled cannibals or risen hungers further south. I think we have to stay kind of up in this area. Now, the rotting hearts do drop off of the slightly higher level guys further south, and we'll probably go after the rotting hearts when we're going after spinal dust a little bit later on. Ah, Silver Vein up here. I was starting to wonder when we would get into Tin and Silver. We haven't seen any Tin yet at all. We're going to have to visit a blacksmithing trainer, or rather, a mining trainer, so that we can learn to smelt tin, bronze, and silver. We are looking for one more Risen Hungerer. Here we go, right here, and then after this we'll head over to the Underlight Mines. Alright, Apprentice Shatharia here wants us to collect six underlaid ore and deliver them to Magister Quelestis. We can do that while we're down here killing these guys. I think they also have a chance to drop it, but we might also be able to find it on the ground. Mm -hmm. 
and I should really consider getting all my mana back before we really dig into this area. And I should also consider buying some more water next time we are back in town. Because we are running low. We'll probably do this one and then we'll head back to Vendor and Resupply. Oh, we also have to find the NPC. That last time we played a bunch of Alliance players had come through and they'd killed him so we couldn't grab his quest. We have to do that as well. Uh, let's actually sheep one of these guys. Let's make some mage water. It's not as good as the stuff that we have uh, from the vendor, but at least it's free and at least we can't really run out of it. This is definitely an area that we're gonna get a lot of use out of sheep. I wonder if this guy's going to aggro. I would love for him to go away. Uh, the other option is that we re-sheep. And then we go after him specifically. That should work. As long as our mana holds out, it'll work. I'm sure these fellas won't mind if we borrow their cook fire. We'll make some bat bites. I've actually never seen this artwork before, that's pretty cool. They make it look more appealing than it sounds. I'll give them that.
that we primarily need a bunch of scavengers. It looks like mainly the scavengers are going to be patrolling around. Oh, you see, I thought this quest for the ore was going to turn into her, but no, she she did say that we should turn it in back in town. Alright, so, uh, yeah, I think that going back to town might be a good idea. Uh, well, we could do that. We could stick it out in the field. We have inventory space, but we don't have a lot of the good water. Uh, if we go out this way, we could try to retake Windrunner Spire. I, I think we ought to at least come over here and find this guy's quest. He's going to have a quest for either spiders or lynx or maybe both of those things, kind of in the same area that we're in now. So I would like to grab that before we flat out forget to.
victory. Here we go, clearing the way. Ten greater spindle webs and ten ghost claw ravagers. And that is a higher level quest, so we don't have to do that, like, right away. But it'll be nice to be able to fight them as we travel and work towards quest completion. Uh, I do think maybe for now the best thing to do would be to run back to town. We also... we need to train level 18, I think, before we head out. Especially to retake Windrunner Spire. This one's always kind of tough. Even if we outlevel it a little bit. It's a little bit tough. Uh, there are some lower level links we can fight over here for this quest, so we should do that on the way. Trust no one. All right, let's fly back to Silver Moon City. I want to train a level 18. I also want to train smelting so we can smelt some uh, tin and silver and eventually we can make bronze. 
once we start finding tin, which to be fair, so far we haven't, and it really seems like we need bronze to push forward a lot, unless we want to do, we could do malachite and delicate copper wire. Uh, we haven't been finding a lot of ore today, actually. Maybe I just haven't been paying close attention. Because, yeah, I don't, I don't think we've seen more than a couple of nodes. Kind of want to check the auction house, too, to see if we can get a wand with just a little bit more power. Level 11 hoodoo wand is not really cutting it. Maybe I need to finally do this as well. If I'm going to level this up at all, I mean, there's really no time like the present. Uh, we can stand right next to this guy, and then we can learn Heavy Linen at 50. And we really haven't started getting any wool yet, so there's not a lot we can do there. Uh, I need to mail off all these jewel crafting recipes. We already know the Crunchy Spider Surprise, so I can vendor that one.
I wonder if I should smelt the silver or if I should prospect it. I feel like I should probably smelt it. Ah, see, then we can make silver rings. Oh, those are really nice. It's too bad they're unique equip. Uh, I'm gonna make all of these. Oh, that's gonna take a minute per ring. I really wish they would speed all of it up. I was really happy with how fast uh, the cast bar was moving for professions, for the most part. And this is a little bit slow. We probably have more things to train back at the jewel crafting trainer as well. Ah, uh, there we go. That's what I was hoping for. Yeah, another rank of Fireball. So just more damage on Fireball is really what we're looking for. Really happy I grabbed that before heading out to try to take uh, Windrunner Spire back. Perfect. We will have justice. Alright, let's try to shoot over to the Auction House and see if maybe we get a better wand. Uh, we could even look for like uh, some better gear. I don't know if we really need it. We could probably find something with more than one stam, one int. At uh, at level 18, we'll see. Depends on what prices are like. I don't want to spend too much money on lower level gear. Especially since you know we might as well just wait. We're gonna be able to get the four intellect one off of the reputation vendor in Tranquilin. So maybe we should just hold off. We'll look at things, but I don't think I'll buy anything. We'll look for a wand, and we should definitely be able to get a wand upgrade. I don't know like how much more damage it's going to do, or if it's going to be super useful, but it could be better. It'll be better than what we have to finish off those guys that have like a couple of HP. We also have a minor glyph slot opened up. Uh, for our talent point, let's go into Ignite. And there's a blue level 16 wand for 500 gold. We're definitely not going to be... Not going to be grabbing that one. I need to just do... Let's do 15 to 18. 
There we go. Uh, yeah, see, here's a bit more damage. And it's only one gold. We'll go ahead and grab this one. And I did say that I would look at robes. Could definitely do that. Stamina spirit. I love the tunics that are selling for 2400 and 5000 respectively. That's absolutely insane. It must be like twink gear for like level 19 twinks. It looks pretty cool. Uh, even this, like, 19 gold, the economy seems so inflated. It's, like, kind of frighteningly inflated. Yeah, I don't think we need any of this. Whatever we get, we'll probably get some stuff from uh, dungeons eventually. Eventually, I might buy the heirloom chest. We'll see. I have to get on my pally and farm up some badges one of these days. I think I need, like, 20 more badges, and that would do it. All right, guys, I'll tell you what, I'm going to take a break right here for now. I'm actually going to hearth us back so that we can go ahead and put that on cooldown. And next time we will wrap up some of the lower level green quests in the Ghostlands and maybe we'll queue up for a dungeon as well. If I can get the level 14 ones turned in, then I wouldn't mind queuing up for a dungeon. So we need the rest of the Ghost Claw Lings and we need to pay a visit to the Sanctum of the Sun. Guys, take care of yourselves out there. Thank you so much for the support. I really do appreciate it. Let me know what you think about the mage. I've been having a great time, and I hope you guys are as well. Until next time, take care of yourselves and take care of each other, and we will see you back here again very soon. Bye for now.